Looking for the perfect end of game set? Then you'll want to check out this complete breakdown of Creighton's Box Ricky. What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through the simple but effective action that Creighton used to get a wide open three pointer in the NCAA tournament. This is an action that many teams have used in the past, including NBA teams, to get the same scoring opportunity. It's really, really simple set. You start in a box. A lot of teams like to use box actions in sideline out of bounds situations. And we're going to get a screen across from our one player to our five. And these numbers are pretty interchangeable. But I want to point out that we have our star or our shooter in this particular shot spot. Five is going to come opposite. One's going to set the screen, and they're going to end up over here. We're also going to get a screen from four to this player. Now, you could get an open shot off of that screen. It's possible, but that's not the primary look in this particular action. If it's there, great. I'm sure they'll take it. But we're instead going to get a pass from this three player on the sideline out of bounds set over to five. Now our star player or our shooter has just gotten a screen from the four. And the four is going to then come back across after setting the initial screen and they're going to turn back and they're going to set a second screen. This is that Ricky action. It's just a rescreen for that player. So they're going to come across and then they're going to work back and we're going to go from five to this player, and they're going to knock down a three-pointer off this action. So one more time before we take a look at Creighton using this in the NCAA tournament, we're going to have one, we're going to have five, we're going to have our star, we're going to have our four. We're going to get a screen across, screen across. Five is going to end up over here. Our star is going to work this way. We're going to get a pass to five, and then our four is going to rescreen, and we're going to work back with our star player, and they're going to get an open three-point look. Great action, late in the shot clock, late in the game when you need a three-pointer. Very, very popular action. Let's take a look at how Creighton executes this box rookie action. So here's Creighton. They're in that box look. Here is that star player that's going to get the screen and then the rescreen off of it. So we're going to have the initial screen. We're going to get the one player screening and our five coming here. We're going to get our screen for that star player. They're going to work across and they're not going to be open here. The defense is going to do a good job. This player is going to catch. Here's our rescreen or our Ricky action. And we're going to come right back across. Quick catch and shoot for a three pointer. Take a look at it from a different angle. There's your initial screen. Here's your rescreen and the knockdown three pointer. One more time at full speed. There's our screen. Here comes our rescreen and the three pointer from Creighton. A lot of teams love to use this action, especially late in the game or late in the shot clock to get a three point look. Creighton's box Ricky action is very popular among teams at all levels. And you can see why the screen and rescreen out of this box look will get you an open three pointer. But not only that, there's other options that you can use out of this look. If you like this set, make sure you hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day.